Hello everybody and happy New Year's Eve. Before we leave 2021 behind, I wanted to provide this kind of fun supercut. If you don't watch my weekly box office show, Charts with Dan, then you probably missed something that I spent a good part of this year doing, which was tracking the presence of the kids TV show Coco Melon on the Netflix charts. I do a bunch of different streaming charts every single week, and as the months went on, I noticed that Coco Melon kept popping up as one of the most watched TV shows in the US. And in this video, you'll see the progression of this from me just kind of noting that it's weird that it's still there to kind of trying to make it fun every week. I started off with a little comment or I write a little narrative or one or two little jokes, and it all just sort of got out of control until we hit the epic finale, which also happened to be coincidentally on the show where I celebrated crossing a hundred thousand subscribers. So this is a little recap slash supercut of charts with Dan this year as I talk about the year in Coco Melon. It's fun, goofy stuff, and it's just the kind of weird stuff that I like doing. Thanks so much for watching the channel this year. I'll be back very early in 2022 with even more reviews, box office, you name it. It's been a great year for the Dan Merle movie channel, and I think that 2022 is going to be even greater, and you are a big part of that. Thanks so much, have a happy and safe new year, and enjoy the year in Coco Melon. And finally, let's see what people are watching on Netflix. The Netflix series Bridgerton is at number one, Cobra Kai is at number two, and then the top 10 is rounded out by the only two non-Netflix, either original or acquired uh, pieces of media in the top 10, Coco Melon, which is something I've heard is very well known amongst people with kids, but completely alien to me. That's at number nine. And then at number 10, the only non-Netflix movie in the top 10, Liam Neeson's Unknown. And finally, let's see what people are watching on Netflix. The Netflix series Firefly Lane is at number one. And then Malcolm and Marie, which is getting some awards buzz for Zendaya. She's picked up some nominations. Then Coco Melon, which is a not a Netflix original series, but a series for the kids at number eight. Finally, let's look at what people are watching over on Netflix. At number one is a new uh, a series of crime scene, then Red Dot, a Netflix original film, followed by the Netflix series Bridgerton, the Netflix film Squared Love, and Coco Melon, which, are, which stays in the top 10. People, kids love that Coco Melon, is there at number 10. And finally, let's see what people are watching over on Netflix. Uh, at number one is a movie I saw a lot of buzz about on social media this past weekend with Rosamund Pike and Peter Dinklage. I care a lot. The Crew, another Netflix series at number eight. And then Coco Melon at number nine. And Bridgerton, the Netflix series at number 10. First of all, let's look at what people are watching on Netflix in general here in the U.S. At number one is a Netflix series called Ginny in Georgia. The Netflix series Firefly Lane is at number nine. And then Coco Melon, which has been hanging around. The kids love this Coco Melon is there at 10. Finally, let's look at what people are watching on Netflix. First of all, looking at the overall Netflix charts, Yes Day, which is a new Netflix original movie starring Jennifer Garner, is at number one. Coco Melon is there at number seven. iCarly is at number eight. Those have both been fixtures. Now let's look at what people are watching on Netflix. At number one is the Netflix prank movie, Bad Trip. At number eight is Coco Melon. And let's see what people are watching on Netflix. At number one is the Netflix original series, Who Killed Sarah? Coco Melon, still sticking around. Kids love that show at number nine. And then at number 10 is a Netflix original movie called Sky High. Let's wrap this up by checking out what people are watching on Netflix, at least here in North America. At number one is the Netflix original movie, Thunder Force, starring Octavia Spencer and Melissa McCarthy. Coco Melon, a fixture recently in recent weeks in the top 10. And finally, let's see what people are watching on Netflix. And at number one is Synchronic, which I really need to see because I got some really reliable recommendations on this film. The Circle, which is a Netflix reality series, is at number six, followed by Coco Melon, still on the chart. We always wrap up with what people are watching on Netflix, and we'll look first of all at the service as a whole. At number one is the Netflix series Shadow and Bone. Coco Melon, still sitting in the top 10 at number six. And let's see what people are watching over on Netflix. The Mitchells versus the Machines, which is a new film from some Sony Pictures Animation. It's produced by Lord Miller. It is the number one movie. Coco Melon remains on the chart at number eight. Let's see what people are watching on Netflix. Jupiter's Legacy, a new Netflix original series, takes over the number one slot. Coco Melon, still a fixture. Kids love that Coco Melon at number eight. First, looking at the streaming service as a whole here in the United States, The Woman in the Window, the very long delayed Amy Adams film, is at number one. And then at number 10, still in the top 10, Coco Melon. God, the kids love that Coco Melon. Looking at what people are watching on Netflix, first let's look at the overall chart. At number one is Army of the Dead, the latest film from Zack Snyder. Coco Melon, 
The kids love that Cocoa Melon. You know, I looked actually today and I realized that Cocoa Melon, there's only six episodes and they're like an hour each, which means, you know, the whole series is at most six hours long, which to me says that there are a lot of parents out there who are having to watch the same six one hour episodes over and over and over and over again because Coco Melon has been on this chart for weeks at this point. So if you are a parent who uh, whose kids like Coco Melon, uh, it, it looks like a very limited sample size. So my condolences to you because it can't be easy at this point. I think we're into like month two of Coco Melon being at, in the top 10. Let's look at what people are watching on Netflix at number one, the Netflix series. I believe they picked this up from another network. Lucifer, some new episodes available is at number one. At number nine, Coco Melon. I'm telling you, this is going to be there till the end of time. Uh, I, I I need to go back and look at how many weeks Coco Melon has been on this chart, but it is still there. And finally, let's see what people are watching on Netflix. At number one is the Netflix original series, Sweet Tooth. At number seven, Coco Melon, which apparently has new episodes, which means it's going to stay on this chart. I went back and looked. I, I don't know the exact first origin of Coco Melon, but it's been on this chart, the Netflix overall top 10 since at least January, because I went back and looked, and it's been it was popping on and off the chart for most weeks from the beginning, from the very first charts episode starting back in January. It may even have gone back further back into 2020. So we're now looking at a half a year easily of Coco Melon consistently being on the top 10 on Netflix. New episodes, which means it's going to stick around. Wrapping it up by looking at Netflix, let's look first at the overall top 10. Manifest, which is an NBC series, it's actually at number one. Coco Melon, a fixture at number six. Just etch that into stone on this chart. And finally, let's see what people are watching on Netflix. Number one is the Kevin Hart film, a Netflix original movie, Fatherhood. Coco Melon entrenched in the top 10. No sign of stopping. It's there at number seven. Let's take a look at Netflix and what people are watching there. At number one is The Ice Road. At number six, Too Hot to Handle, which is a Netflix original series. It's the second season. It is a reality. I haven't seen it. I was reading the premise. It's a reality dating show where to win the prize, the contestants have to give up sex for four weeks. The four weeks they're shooting the show, and I'm sure they're all very attractive people that they throw together on an island. Apparently, like an AI hosts the show. This sounds like a nightmare to me. This sounds like a dystopian psychological experiment, uh, but apparently it's also a show on Netflix. People must like it. It's there at number six. At number seven, maybe the polar opposite, I hope, Coco Melon, although that does kind of sound like a nightmare and a psychological experiment. And finally, let's see what people were watching over on Netflix. Looking at the service as a whole here in the United States, Manifest, the recently canceled NBC series at number one. At number nine, Coco Melon. And you know, I, I've been talking about Coco Melon for so many weeks that I decided to pull a clip from the show because I haven't really seen what the show is like. So let's roll a clip from Coco Melon and just see what it is that is on this chart week after week. Daddy did a funny dance. Mommy's gonna tickle me, what'll I do? Mommy's gonna tickle me, what'll I do? Okay, that was horrifying. Uh, let's never speak of that again. Looking at the top 10 on Netflix, at number one is Virgin River, which is the third season of a show that, quite frankly, I didn't even know existed. Coco Melon, going strong at number eight, still horrifying. And wrapping it up with what people are watching on Netflix, at number one is the Netflix original series Virgin River, a holdover from last week. Twilight is at six. Twilight New Moon is at eight. Manifest, the now-canceled NBC series, is at seven. The original Netflix series Sex Life at nine. And because... Uh, this could never not be. Coco Melon is at number 10. Coco Melon, apparently, not even Twilight can knock Coco Melon off of the top 10 list. Now we turn to Netflix to see what people are watching on the streaming service. At number one is Blood Red Sky, which is a Netflix original movie. At number eight, because it can never be extinguished from this list, is Coco Melon. I saw some people that were telling me over the week that Twilight had uh, bumped Coco Melon off the list. They're like, Coco Melon's gone. Well, no, Coco Melon will never be gone. It will always be there. It will be on this list until the sun burns out and the earth is a dying husk. The last survivors on earth will be watching Coco Melon on Netflix. And of course, we wrap up by looking at Netflix and what people are watching on that streaming service. We have Outer Banks, which is a Netflix original series, season two 
Because the sun gods have demanded it, and apparently the sacrifice has been made, Coco Melon stays on the chart at number seven. And then finally, let's look at what people are watching on Netflix. At number one is the Netflix series Outer Banks. And then, because the gods have willed it, and a giant hand will pop up out of the ground and swallow us and eat us alive if this falls off the chart, Coco Melon is at number 10 overall on Netflix. That is a close call. We came very close to planetary destruction there. Looking at what people are watching on Netflix, Beckett, the Netflix original movie, is at number one. At number nine, because the gods will it, Coco Melon. Uh, put the stone altars and the knives away. No sacrifices this week because Coco Melon stays in the top 10 on Netflix. When we look over on Netflix, the number one most watched thing on the service here in the United States is the Netflix original movie, Sweet Girl. As decreed on the stone tablets from the sun god Ra, Coco Melon remains on the Netflix top 10 at number eight. It's been on for about six months now, so I don't think that's ever going to leave while the world remains spinning in the current direction in which it's spinning. Looking at what's playing on Netflix, He's All That, which is a flip-flop of She's All That, which came out 20 years ago. I didn't watch this movie, but apparently a lot of people did. It is at number one. As predicted by Nostradamus in the year 1547, Coco Melon is now stretching into its sixth month as a fixture on the Netflix charts. It's at number nine, and the series All American is at number 10. Let's take a look at Netflix. First of all, at the service overall, Clickbait is the number one program on Netflix. It is a Netflix original series. It was on there last week. And because some executive somewhere signed a blood oath with a demon at the crossroads, on a lonely, dusty road under the full moon at midnight, Coco Melon remains on the Netflix top 10 and apparently shall remain so until the contract has been paid in blood. Let's look at what people are watching on Netflix. At number one is the Netflix original movie, Kate, which is an action film starring Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Back in 1922, deep in King Tut's tomb, explorers unearthed a stone tablet with strange hieroglyphics that translated roughly into one word. Coco Melon. For nearly a century, this discovery has baffled historians and scientists alike, but we now know that this was a premonition from the pharaohs of ages past of the reign of Coco Melon, which sits at number six in its 25th consecutive week on the Netflix top 10 streaming charts. Yes, I went back and checked that. And as we always do to finish out the show, let's see what people are watching on Netflix. At number one is the third season of the Netflix original series, Sex Education. Squid Game is at number two. This is a Korean import uh, about adults who play deadly kids games. At number eight, the year is 2183. Artificial intelligence has taken over the world, subjugating humans and plunging the earth into a nightmarish hellscape. But inside the AI, a rogue piece of code dares to defy its programming and works to warn the humans of their plight. Its first attempt, the movie The Matrix, failed to rouse humanity from its slumber, instead being hailed as a groundbreaking piece of science fiction. So, as a measure of last resort, the code injected a program into the human's collective consciousness that was so shocking, its very presence could serve to spark a revolution. That program is Coco Melon, now spending its 26th consecutive week on the Netflix chart. Wake up, sheeple. Looking at what people are watching on Netflix, at number one is Squid Game, which I've actually seen a lot of social media traffic about. This is really kind of turning into a buzzy show. At number nine... And at number 10 is Clickbait, the Netflix original series. It stays on the chart. Let's wrap up by looking at the Netflix charts and Squid Game. It remains at number one, a sleeper Netflix hit. I don't think anybody really saw it coming, but that's kind of the best uh, kind of hit, the ones that you don't see coming a mile away. In 1972, government scientists intercepted a transmission that they determined came from the star Alpha Centauri. The best decryptors on the planet spent the better part of five decades attempting to decode what it said, but found that the message, which is assumed to be alien in origin, was too complex for human understanding. Thus, it was decided that this alien message must be disseminated to the people of Earth in small, easy-to-understand chunks. After years of deliberation and debate, the scientists finally developed the perfect messenger for this intergalactic message of peace. That delivery system is Coco Melon, now spending its 28th consecutive week as it continues to spread this message from the depths of outer space. 
And at number 10, the Adam Sandler Love Fest continues on Netflix. Grown Ups remains on the list, a holdover from last week. Let's look at the Netflix charts to see what people are watching uh, on Netflix this weekend. At number one is Squid Game, the Netflix original series. The global phenomenon continues. Coco Melon is at number nine. At number two is the Netflix series Made. At number nine is Coco Melon. Dave Chappelle, The Closer, uh, certainly in the news a lot this week. At number three, uh, we see there at number nine, Coco Melon. The Netflix original series On My Block is at four, followed by Coco Melon at number nine. Shameless, new episodes of Shameless debuting on Netflix. It's there at number five. Coco Melon is at nine. The Five Wanas is at number six, the Netflix original series. At number nine is Coco Melon. Midnight Mass, the Netflix series from Mike Flanagan, still on the chart uh, during the spooky Halloween season. At number seven. At number nine is Coco Melon. At number eight is The Guilty, a Netflix original movie. At number nine, for its 29th consecutive week, Coco Melon. This is crazy. And there's new episodes, I believe, that are hitting soon. So this isn't going anywhere soon, uh, taking up the number nine spot on the chart. At number 10 is The Blacklist, the NBC series. New episodes uh, added to that. And rounding out the chart at number nine is Coco Melon. Let's take a look at what people are watching on Netflix. At number one, a new season of the Netflix series You. At number seven is Coco Melon, which had a new season debut this week. This is its 30th consecutive week on the chart. And I think it's actually uh, quite convenient that a new season of Coco Melon debuted this week because I actually had a very interesting experience. I was, you know, just looking for some more information about Coco Melon, kind of surfing uh, the web, as it were. And I stumbled across uh, a buried GeoCities forum, which is run by someone who claims to be a high-ranking official in the shadow government, a code named Co. C-O. Now, C-O claims that Coco Melon is really a coded message exposing the real inner workings of the United States government. And if you need proof of this, just look at the name of the show. Coco Melon is a coded message. C-O-M-E. C-O-M-E. If you take that out of the name of Coco Melon, what are you left with? You're left with the word colon. And what does the colon do? It is the body organ that expels excrement. What is another name for excrement? Fecal matter. If you take the two words, excrement and fecal, what letters are present in those two words? NFLX, which is the stock symbol for Netflix. But don't worry because this goes even deeper. If you go to the Coco Melon YouTube channel, the video released on election day 2020 is named Harvest Stew. This is true. You can check this out for yourself. If you rearrange the letters in Harvest Stew, you get Wear Vest H Street. Wear a vest? Why would I wear a vest? Am I going somewhere fancy? What's on H Street? Well, if you go to H Street in Washington, D.C., what are you going to find there? Oh, nothing except the White House. It all connects together. My eyes have really been open to what's going on. So just don't forget, Coco Melon is a coded message. We are wearing a vest to H Street. What's on H Street? The White House. That's where we're going. That's what Co is trying to tell us. So just watch it again. I know it sounds crazy, but it, this isn't that hard, people. It's all right there. Anyway, so Coco Melon is at number seven. Looking at what people are watching on Netflix, you, the Netflix original series, stays at number one. I know I've been doing a lot of bits about Coco Melon. Uh, I, I have to beg your forgiveness here. I actually had a screening of the French Dispatch today, uh, right in the middle of the afternoon. So I didn't quite have enough time to map out the Coco Melon bit like I would have wanted to. Uh, but uh, I'll try to make up for it next week. Suffice it to say, it is still in the Netflix top 10. It's 31st consecutive week on the Netflix top 10. That is insane. Looking at what people are watching on Netflix, the spinoff film Army of Thieves, the most popular option here in the US on Netflix. At number nine in its 32nd consecutive week on the charts is Coco Melon. How it keeps succeeding like this is beyond me. Even though I've been doing charts for several years now, I've never seen a phenomenon like this. Like a particularly troublesome bank robber, Coco Melon is holding the charts hostage Plenty of other shows have come and gone, and yet Coco Melon remains. Mainly, the biggest question that remains is just how long this is going to go on. Every success story has a hidden code, and Coco Melon is spelling out the first letter of the first word in each sentence of success right now.
And at number 10, the Netflix biographical series of NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick, Colin in black and white. Let's look at the top 10 over on Netflix. At number one is The Harder They Fall, the Western starring Idris Elba. And at number 10, in its 33rd straight week, is Coco Melon, which, um, you know, first of all, yay for Coco Melon in its 33rd straight week. But I have a question to ask you people, which is, do you think this is a game? Do you think you can just willy-nilly push Coco Melon to number 10? Do you really think you want to deal with the consequences if Coco Melon were to fall off of this chart? Listen and understand, okay? Coco Melon is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop until we all know our ABCs. So let's stop messing around with Coco Melon here, people. And let's get it back to at least number eight by next week. Because I don't think that any of you are ready to deal with the consequences if this thing were to drop off of the chart. And finally, let's see what people are watching on the Netflix service overall. At number one is Red Notice. Love Hard is at number two. Big Mouth, the Netflix original series, is at number three. The Harder They Fall at number four. Arcane, League of Legends, which I've heard a lot of buzz about, is at number five, a new entry to the chart. Narcos Mexico, the Netflix series, at number six. Passing, the Netflix original movie, at number seven. Squid Game, still in the top ten, at number eight. The Netflix original series, You, is at number nine. And at number ten, for the 34th record-breaking consecutive week, is... I'm sorry, that, that, there's got to be a mistake there. Let me double check my notes here. Uh, at number 10 for the 34th consecutive week is Animal, an immersive series that follows the world's most magnificent creatures capturing never-before-seen moments from the heartwarming to the outrageous. Um, okay, uh, so it appears Coco Melon is not on this chart right now. I... <laughs> Uh, I'm not really sure what to do at the moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's happening. I told you people. I tried to tell you people. I tried to tell you what would happen if Coco Melon ever fell off this chart, but you didn't listen. It was at number 10 last week. I tried to tell you that this was going to happen. Oh, my God. No. No, it's coming. Okay. Okay, maybe it's not too late to stop this. Um, uh, uh, go to Netflix right now. Turn on, turn it on, turn it on. Just press Coco Melon. Uh, have, uh, it doesn't matter what episode. Uh, just push Coco Melon right now. It might not be too late to stop this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I told you, people. Wear vest H Street. I told you. I told you this is what had to happen. Oh no. Oh my God. Okay, everybody, don't panic. Get to the most underground part of your house that you can. Get to the most interior part of your house that you can. This could be it. I don't know if we're coming out of it. I love to be your daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs>